9 Butler Street in Brighton. This has to be one of my top five favourite homes in the last 18 years I've been at Buxton. Uh, we'll start with the full height doors. They just stand out, the double doors at the front as well. Master bedroom, huge space and uh, in immaculate condition. Plenty of storage. That's an east facing window where your morning sun would come in from. All the built-in cabinetry surrounding the bed. Of course, built in the late 60s, the fluorescent lights were very popular back then. The ensuite, the flooring, this tile is in immaculate condition. Solid foundations here on a concrete slab. We've got the toilet and shower, really big space to work with if you do decide to renovate. Yeah, love these full height doors. The entrance, this feature here was going to actually be a fish tank, but they decided to go for the more Japanese style timber work. You can see that light streaming in. It's a very bright home. This would be one of the bedrooms, uh, but traditionally on the floor plan, it was the den, but you can see how big it is. It's definitely a bedroom size, built-in desk. So for some of you, you want to keep the original timber work. Uh, a great story, all the timber panelling throughout the property and some of the furniture was all built from two teak trees that the vendors imported. So lots of history. Architect was Harry Enher, uh, Ernest, I should say, Harry Ernest. I've got to get that right. And uh, that's spelled E-R. NST. Uh, so that's the powder room. It does have a shower in there over the bath. North facing courtyard. You can see the sun just flowing in beautifully there. Exposed brickworks. Beautiful. I love this timber panelling. And uh, to boot, we've still got the built in record player, which uh, would have had a good workout through the years of the home. I think the first impression I got with this home, panning to the massive living room, is uh, when guests would leave this home, I'm sure they would leave saying how much they love the home. North facing windows here, and that's out to that traditional central courtyard with uh, the crazy paving, be the ideal place for a swimming pool. Uh, going back to the built in bar, all this timber work is in immaculate condition, like it was built yesterday. And uh, panning back round to the lounge. Flexible floor plan. Obviously, you've got your lounge, bar and dining here. Beautiful wallpaper, still in brand new condition. And uh, this is a large dining space. You can see how big it is. Doors going out to that north courtyard. The kitchen is massive as well. Just huge spaces throughout the home. So a big blank canvas for whatever your plans might be. We're now facing south. That's a south facing window. Still, you can see the light that it gets. Panning round. And we're going to go to the rear of the property now. So this is again, another view. Those traditional flat roofed with the big eaves. And uh, a bit of a utility room, f another big space, plenty of storage. All the cabinetry is in immaculate condition, not a chip. I'll take you back through to the garage in a second. This is a self-contained unit set up, but removing some of these partitions here, you could create another living space or another bedroom. Look at that mid-century and if I zoom in on here the shag pole wall on the beams there how can you not love that throughout again textured wallpaper throughout so it is a kitchenette this is 
not in the original design, but came as a later need. So they did build it like this, but uh, it was an afterthought, but the kitchenette self-contained unit. This would be the third bedroom. Again, huge wall of robes, looking out to the central courtyard, big room. And those robes are huge. It does actually then have access, uh, that's side access to whatever you're needing, the, the rear of the property, tradesman entrance. And this would be the second bathroom. Floors and tiles, again, in immaculate condition. If I take a zoom in on there, I, they look like they were laid yesterday. And we've got the bathroom set up with a bath and shower and spinning around laundry facilities so lots of space lots of potential big rooms and a proper double size garage so excuse some of the items there but if that's all gone you can see it goes back quite deep around the corner and then Quite a generous double garage. So you've got your rear access as well. If you get a second, jump onto Google Maps and you can see the setup of the block. Uh, you could take those cabinets out and even create more space. There you have it, 9 Butler Street, Brighton. I love this property. Hopefully you love it too. Any questions, please feel free to reach out. Chris Hassel's my name from Buxton. I uh, would love to help. Look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you.